So let's talk about the Noble Manhattan group. The core of the group is our school of coaching. And we call that NMC, Noble Manhattan Coaching. We started officially in 1995. And we didn't start as a training school, we started just delivering coaching. And then we started to train coaches in 1999. And we, if you think of us as a, a mini university, like a small private university, but specialising in one area, and that is coaching. We have at this moment 18 different courses. Everything from a one-day introduction right up to a two-and-a-half-year postgraduate. And in December this year, we're launching our first executive MBA. And yesterday, I did a, a new course here in Bulgaria called a one-day executive leadership course. So we have many courses, 18 in total, from a one-day introduction up to a two-and-a-half-year postgraduate, but all to do with coaching. Some for individuals, some for managers, and depending on their desire, their, uh, their budget, what they want to achieve, depending on the level of qualification they would like to have, then we have a course to suit everyone. As the years have gone by, we have grown and expanded, and we now trade in 28 countries. The model we use, um, we call it a distributorship model, but if I use the word franchise, you would probably be very familiar with franchise. Yeah. Um, it's not exactly a franchise, but I will use that because it's a, it's a term almost everyone is familiar with. And we have master franchisees now in many countries. Uh, Turkey, Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, UK, Ireland, Greece, Macedonia, uh, now Spain, uh, Netherlands, B Belgium, and so on. We deliver our courses in many languages. Our courses are currently available in Turkish, Polish, Romanian, Bulgarian, etc. Um, looking, uh, it's being translated into Spanish as we speak, and uh, we'll probably work with Peter and maybe think about things like Dutch and German um, over the next year or so as well. So that's Noble Manhattan Coaching. We are a coach training school. There are, for those of you that are interested, we believe 900 coach training schools in the world. 900, which is quite a lot. Everything from Beijing to San Francisco, from Helsinki to Cape Town. I don't mean they're all good, but they, they exist. Our coach training school is in the top three in the world in terms of size, established, number of coaches trained, and so on. So that's the core business. Now, as the years went by, we realised that it's OK training coaches. But the, the, the fact is, there are good coaches and there are successful coaches. The good are not always successful. And the very annoying part is the successful are not actually always that good. What they are good at is the marketing, the, the, the promoting themselves. And the, the sad fact is coaching attracts very lovely people, usually people from a caring background. Um, so they're very lovely people, but they're not very good at marketing themselves, helping themselves to go out and get the business. So many years ago, we decided to create a number of initiatives to help coaches develop their business in other areas. And the first division, so these are now different divisions of Noble Manhattan. Uh, Noble Manhattan, by the way, is, is a private limited company. It's an English-based company, so it's a UK-registered organisation. Right. Uh, the first division we started was the Coaching Support Division. And Coaching Support is a series of monthly meetings run by a president. 
and we have coaching support presidents in many, many cities all around the world. Here we are in Sofia, in Bulgaria, and Brian here and his lovely wife, Catherine, established one of our most successful coaching support groups on the planet. It is incredible. Um, and, and it runs every month, one evening every month, and there's anything from 50 to 100 people come, isn't that true, depending on the speakers, every month, every month. And there's one happening tonight, which is, which is incredible. So we have our coaching support division. So, see us. Every one of these divisions has a lady or gentleman running it called an MD, a managing director. So we have a managing director running each division. Then we set up a magazine, the ICN, International Coaching News. Again, I want to put this in perspective because I want you to get a feeling for how we do things in Noble Manhattan. There are indeed other magazines in the coaching world. There are two quite big ones. The biggest is called Choice. Choice has been going for 11 years, and Choice has got 5,300 subscribers. It is run by a guy called Gary. It comes out of the USA. It's a good magazine, it's good quality, been going for 11 years. The next biggest is called Coaching at Work, run by an English or British organization called the CIPD, Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development. That magazine has now been going for six years, and they have got 3,900 subscribers. That's quite good. We launched the ICN, International Coaching News, two years ago. We now have 35,000 subscribers. We don't do anything unless we can be two things, ladies and gentlemen, both the biggest and the best. And I do believe it is possible to be both. I don't believe you have to be one or the other. I think you can be the best and you can also be the biggest. So the ICN is now the biggest coaching magazine on the planet. Uh, here are some of the last editions. We've won awards for the quality of our magazine. And unlike any of our competitors, we also produce our magazine in different languages. It's available in English, of course. It's available in Polish. It's available in Romanian. And I believe we're working on a Bulgarian edition. We think it's quite arrogant to only produce something in English. Most of the world are not English speakers. All right. So there we go. So that's the International Coaching News, the ICN. And we have a lovely lady who runs that called Leanne. Leanne is our managing director. She's based in Johannesburg. Sharon runs our coaching support division. She spends most of our time in France. So we are a, um, a widespread management team. We have a radio platform, Coach Radio International. Now before I go any further, let me draw your attention to something. Each of these is a division of Noble Manhattan. But you will notice that they have their own very distinct look and feel. They have their own name, their own different logo, their own colors and theme, and a completely separate URL. Do you know what I mean by URL? Domain name. So, if you know, we have, there's the alpha group, which we'll come back to, coaching support, ICN, coach radio, these are not separate companies, they are divisions within Noble Manhattan, but each of them is treated as a separate business center with its own managing director who, who runs it. All right. And we've done that so that should we have, we've done that for a number of reasons, because actually many of our competitors in our coach training world are happy to partner with us in our divisions. 
um, then we're not seen as a threat. And we're very inclusive in Noble Manhattan. We believe in spreading our arms and inviting everyone to be part of our global family. So the CRI, Coach Radio, is an international radio platform where we allow anyone, and I mean anyone, to have their own regular one-hour radio show. They can have a monthly show, they can have a weekly show. Now we charge for it, and I'd like to put that into perspective. We have a couple of competitors. There's an organisation called World Talk Radio. They're very good. To have a one-hour show with World Talk Radio is, they charge in dollars, $15,000. There's another very good one called Hay House Radio, big publishing house worldwide, good, good company. Uh, to have your own one hour, in fact it's a half an hour show, half an hour with Hay House Radio is $3,900. We allow people to have their own radio show for £40 all over the world. So I think you'll see quite a big difference. We don't do this to make a lot of money as long as we cover our costs because we have to employ admin people, uh, IT people, customer care and so on. As long as we cover their costs we're, we're fine. So that's Coach Radio and that's going um, very well right now. Uh, it is. It's an internet-based radio and we have people now from many countries and we are already um, broadcasting I think in seven languages. But, um, so. We have a small publishing arm called eBooks for Coaches. There's an old saying that the best business card in the world is a book. Yeah, A business card is nice, but a book impresses more. Um, so we have set up a division where we will publish the works of any of our coaches and students worldwide. If it can be delivered electronically. So e-books, Kindle type books, PDFs, white papers, articles, documents, um, we will market them on behalf of our coaches. They can either give them away free if they want to sell them. We will sell them for them. We collect the money and give the money to them. So we act as a platform to help anyone in the personal development world raise their brand by getting published. And that's doing, doing very, very well. Uh, and you can go online, we, we've got so many different books there now, and it increases almost every week. We have a division called Noble Media. And the managing director there is Laura. <coughs> and under Noble Media, we're pulling some of our online initiatives, like the radio and, and the e-books, so it's a, it's a comprehensive offering. And we use that to help our students and coaches worldwide to get their name out. So we have so many offerings and ways to help our people to raise their brand. We have an initiative, it's not a division, uh, it's not a division, it's a, a product or a service I should say, called Boardroom Coaching. And I think the name says what we do. Boardroom Coaching and you'll hear about that later today. And if you look at our international team, there's Katrin, Brian's wife. She's not feeling too well today. Um, and there's this man we spoke about earlier, Albert Eccles. Great man. So boardroom coaching works with C-level, if you understand what I mean by C-level, managers and uh, directors uh, helping them with their organization. We have an initiative called Colour Coaching. So we've got boardroom coaching, colour coaching. Colour coaching 
is an initiative, it's a service, it's not a division, and it's designed to help, and I don't wish to be sexist here, but the figures from the last two or three years indicate that it's 99% ladies that are interested in this. We've had very few men. But, um, but it's designed to help coaches. We, we take existing coaches and we give them a three-day training course teaching them how to work with clients, mainly lady clients, how to build their confidence through image and colour and makeup and the clothes they wear. And we've got some of the best experts in the world. So Mandy, is, um, she had her own TV show in, in Britain for many years, what they call the Morning Coach. Uh, she's one of the top uh, uh, image consultants in the world. And this division is run by Irina. Or this initiative, it's not a division. And um, we are, we've, we're putting together new courses, and that will be available at the end of this year. So it's all about helping women to become confident through their colour, their makeup, their dress, their silhouette, um, and so on. We have a blog. We've had this blog running for six and a half years. It's got a great name. It's called The Coaching Blog. And the URL is Coaching Blog, which is difficult to get nowadays. And it focuses on two topics, leadership and coaching. Only those two topics, leadership and coaching. We publish every day. So at least six days a week, we publish on the blog. We have a full-time editor, IT team. And in that arena of leadership and coaching, there are 48 million blogs. And in May of this year, the coaching blog was voted in the top 20 in the world. So that's quite impressive. And we use this as a platform, not only to, uh, to write our thoughts on leadership and coaching, but if any of our coaches write a really good article, we will publish it for them on our blog. And it's a way of helping our people to, to raise their brand and profile. Then we have something new. This is not ready to launch yet. This will launch before Christmas, uh, in three months' time. Noble University. It's a new division. I've appointed a new managing director. I won't, tell, I won't reveal his name yet. Um, it's a he. Obviously, I won't reveal his name. Um, and, uh, but we're working in the background with a team preparing this. And this is going to be quite unique. We already have our first product. We are going to, we're having an executive MBA. And we're working with a uh, university, Ashridge College. We've got our faculty. We've got people from Cambridge University, MIT, Harvard on the faculty. And it's going to be the first ever executive MBA with a big focus on coaching. So it's a full MBA. Uh, it's a year-long program. And there's going to be 12 six-day residential bits. <coughs> and we're working out the pricing now, but I'll, I'll release this to you. Does anyone have an idea what a typical MBA would cost? Uh, do you want to share? I mean, <laughs> roughly? Yeah. Oh, that's a long time ago. It was in, in the Gilded Time, it was around, was it, if only the fee part was 70,000. 70,000, yeah, yeah. Well, this... Today, MBAs are about 25, 30,000 pounds or euros, roughly. It depends who you go to. That doesn't include accommodation. There's going to be 12 six-day elements. All food, all accommodation will be covered. We're doing it for about 14 to 15,000 euros. How big is the group? Groups will be about 20 people. So I think you'll agree that's quite impressive. Um, very difficult to beat in the marketplace, you know. So, it, so we're a good quality product. The whole concept of everything we do is a good quality product at a fair price. 
I'm not saying a cheapest price. We don't try to be the cheapest, but a fair price. Good quality at a fair price. Yeah. So that's coming along. So that's going to be uh, Noble University. We then have... Let me shut these down. We then have another completely separate company. And I'm telling you this for a reason, so you, it'll help you with, with understanding. We have a totally different company, nothing to do with Noble Manhattan, and it is an insurance company. It's called Westminster Indemnity. And it's a specialist. It specialises in what we would call liability insurance, indemnity insurance. The Americans call it errors and omissions or medical malpractice. And we cover hundreds and hundreds of categories from everything from coaching to consulting to... Um, so it's all for professional people who have their own uh, insurance. And we trade in America, all over America, Canada, UK, Ireland, and in the new year we're launching in Australia. So... Um, I think New Zealand as well. Very possibly New Zealand. Yes, we're looking into the market in New Zealand now to see how different it is to Australia. And if it's not hugely different, then yes. We, um, as an organisation, are official Lloyd's cover holders. And that may or may not mean anything to you, but to be a Lloyd's cover holder is, if I just say, rather special. Um, rather special. OK, that is the shape of the Noble Manhattan Group. I'm coming to the Alpha in a minute. So you can see it's, it's quite big. None of the other coach training organizations in the world have this. The rest are simply coach training. You join, you do your course, you get this like a college. We have all of these support elements to help our, our people. So it's, it's rather, rather special. 